Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. Well, it all started with 44 cent. That's how much we spent on our two and a half hour train journey from the new capital of Thailand to its ancient one. But what do you get in return for that price and how safe is it? Let's embark on a third class train with no doors, monk only compartments and let me share a story that gets pretty wet in the end. But first, hi! Chances are that you don't know me. I'm Johannes, a 23 year old from Switzerland with a passion for travel. I work remotely, mainly in Thailand, but also in other parts of the world, for two and a half years now. Recently I started this channel on a mission to provide insightful, surprising and entertaining content about my journeys by rail and air. However, without further ado, let's jump right in. Welcome from Bangkok, my home of choice. Today my beautiful Pachari and I are taking a third class train on one of Thailand's oldest train tracks from Bangkok Hualompong station up to the ancient temple city of Ayutthaya. I spent more than half of my time in Bangkok and still can't wrap my head around how crazy, diverse and freaking amazing this city is. Bangkok, I love you. Das kann ein bisschen verwirrend wirken auf den ersten Blick. Aber das Ding ist, man muss wunderbar nach oben laufen und von der Seite her kann man rein. While most long distance train travel has shifted to the new flashy Bangkok Bangsu Grand Station in January this year, 107 year old Hua Lampong still features a decent amount of regional and interregional train connections. Arriving at the ticket counter, we are being told by the staff that our train left 20 minutes early and would have been the last train connecting Bangkok and Ayutthaya for today. However, while further inquiring and pointing out the timetable which features about a train per hour to Ayutthaya, this information luckily turns out to be wrong quickly. In no time we've got our tickets for the 11.40 train. How much? 36 baht. Two person. Nice and summon. But why did we decide to go to Ayutthaya this Saturday in the first place? Well, to understand this you have to understand the lunisolar Buddhist calendar. According to this scripture, the new year starts now, in April. Better known as Songkran, Thai New Year is a nationwide festival celebrated Thursday until Sunday by water fights taking place all over the country. As the Songkran celebrations in Bangkok were packed the night before and we were barely able to move, we decided to head to Ayutthaya to get a more relaxed and authentic experience. In contrast to Bangkok, Songkran in Ayutthaya is mainly celebrated by locals and features water fights, painted elephants and pure fun all around the city. But for now, let's head to our train. The station is not too busy and at track 8 where our SRT 200 Express with final destination Surin waits for us, that's just a few dozen meters from the ticket counters away. First impression, not too bad for 44 cents. You can even open the windows of the train, like in the good old days in Switzerland. If you know how to handle them, that is. Complementary to that, you get ceiling fans and a seating that is surprisingly comfortable and well maintained. However, in third class you don't get an assigned seat, so in rush hour you have to expect to stand.
something that is quite common on Thai trains are flying vendors which get on at one station, sell their stuff and then get off at the next stop. I'm not quite sure about the legality of this, maybe someone let me know in the comments, but it seems to be tolerated. They are not obnoxious like in other countries and provide travelers with fresh beverages and even hot meals. So that's closer to the Vaglai field, we just took tickets. Yeah. <laughs> ก็ไม่ได้ครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับครับคร
With a delay of only about 30 minutes, we arrive in Ayutthaya. Here's where the fun really begins. For the price of only 10 baht, we take the boat from the pier next to the train station across the river to the city center where the Songkran celebration are supposed to take place. We rent a motorcycle and jump straight in. For me, riding the third class train to Ayutthaya was absolutely worth it. If you are however wondering what the other side of the spectrum looks like, feel free to check out my video about my experience in the first class VIP cabin on a Thai sleeper train from Chiang Mai to Bangkok. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and see you next week.